Welcome back you three, it's Mrs Pierce here. We're on our second session of Telling the Time. Let's start by having a look at our in focus. I can see there's a clock face. What time does the clock show? Elliot would like to know how many ways you can record what the clock says. Pause the video while you journal. OK, let's turn to the Let's Learn. Each small marking on the clock face stands for one minute. The minute hand here on this face shows one minute after the hour. I can see the blue hand is pointing at the 12th hour, so the time is 12.01. Or one minute past 12. When the minute hand moves on, we can count in fives. Five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes. And then we can count on in ones. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. The time is 12.24. Charles says, the train is arriving at 12.24 in the afternoon. Should we use AM or PM? That's right. When we're talking about times in the afternoon, we use PM. Here's Holly. She's waiting for her flight to arrive. What time will her flight arrive at? There's the hour hand, past the eighth hour. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen minutes past eight o'clock. Eight, nineteen, a.m. Holly's bus arrived at this time. Can you work it out? Pause the video if you need some thinking time. That's right, the bus arrived at 3.46 p.m. Okay, you're ready for your guided practice now. Remember, you can talk to somebody at home while you think about these questions. We've made a copy for you to print off if you need to see them more clearly. Start with questions A and B, pause the video, and then move on to questions C and D. Lulu's asking us what do we need to do to tell the time to the minute. Maybe you could write a success criteria. Make a list. Pause the video if you need to. OK, let's take a look at our worksheet. You've got six clock faces. Each one is marked A to F. I'd like you to tell me what time you see on the clock face and whether we've said it's happening a.m. or p.m. Pause the video while you have a go at these questions. Now we can take a look at the answers. Remember, if you've written something different, you can write the correct answer in and work out where you might have made a mistake. If you thought that was a little bit easy, I've got a challenge for you. You could show your thinking in another way. 2.56pm could be written as 56 minutes past two in the afternoon. Is there another way that you could write these times? Well done for all of your efforts today. We look forward to seeing some of your learning. I'll see you again in session three. Take care.